Okay, so today I'm going to tell you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2.1. This is the link. You're going to go to your IDSW for 2.1. It'll be in the right the information too, so you can just click the link rather than have to read this and copy it. It'll take you to this website. And you'll click download file. It'll give you characters that you have to type in, type in the characters that shows you it's only like four and it won't be hard. Hit download now. And this is going to take about an hour to download. So you'll let that download and once it's done you'll hit save and I'll save it to your desktop. That way you can easily find where it's located later on. Next thing you're gonna need is going to be quick phone. 2.2 and in order to get quick phone 2.2 you're going to follow a link that I'll have in the description and it will take you to this website then you'll scroll down a bit you'll find the quick, point, quick phone 2.2 download link to follow the link it will take you to this page and from this page you click download now and you will see a 20 or 30 second rule Time on the next on the next page it'll take you to and once it's done with that it'll say click here, start your download. Just click the here and begin downloading. And when you're done downloading it shouldn't take long. It'll open up, you can uh, you can open it up, it'll have this and you'll double click click phone two point two or twenty two, what it'll look like. And it'll ask you to extract to extract all. It'll give you a preset thing to extract it to and you'll just hit extract and then it'll extract it for you and it'll be another page that looks fairly similar you click quick phone 22 again and it'll open up quick phone now quick phone is going to ask you to make sure that your device is connected because it'll have to detect it first so you'll plug your iPod in your computer your USB and once it does, once it detects it the arrows will become blue you'll be able to click next. Next thing it's going to ask you for is your IPSW that you downloaded earlier. So you'll hit browse. It'll give you browse from where and you'll go to desktop and you'll find your little Lego looking icon for your iPod to store. You'll click that, you'll open that and click next and it'll take you to this page. It'll give you the option of Cydia and installer, the two pack and install apps. I prefer installer, but you can choose installer and and Cydia. Cydia is newer, a little bit easier to use. But regardless, you can have both if you like, or move them later on. And the third option that will give you is replace the boot logos. Like when you go to recover me mode, or when you turn on your iPod, the Apple logo, you can change that to something else. You can browse pictures from your computer and use that on you know, the right size. I'm not going to go into that because it's not important, nor is it telling me to figure out if you wanted to. And then you'll click next, and it'll tell you to ensure your device is connected still. And you'll pick up your iPod, and be prepared to do some things on your iPod manually, because in a moment it's going to ask you to pick it up, and it'll tell you to hold buttons like the home button and the power button at the top. And It'll tell you for how long and it'll tell you when to. You just fall as it does on the screen and it'll own or jailbreak your iPod for you. Once you do that, it'll tell you, it'll come over the screen and tell you, please wait for your iPod to reboot and it'll reboot with installer or Cydia or both and your new logos and you'll have a jailbroken iPod with which you can eventually do all kinds of lovely things. Subscribe.